Hello everybody, how are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm so happy to be with you. Hey dragonflies, I have two books that I would like to share with you today. And they are books that I haven't read before, um, but you might be familiar with them and I thought you would enjoy them. Let me get a little closer here. The first book is called Lemons Are Not Red. Lemons are not red. Lemons are not red. Lemons are yellow. Apples are red. Carrots are not purple. Carrots are orange. But you know what? I want to tell you something. There actually are some purple carrots. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good, too. But usually carrots are orange. <laughs> An eggplant is definitely purple. Flamingos are not gray. Flamingos are pink. Elephants are gray. Reindeer are not white. Reindeer are brown. Snowmen are white. Grass is not blue. Can you see that blue grass? Grass is green, but clouds are white and the sky is blue. The moon is not black. The moon is silver. The night is black. Good night. <laughs> That's my first book. The second one is also about nighttime, and it's called Max at Night. And Max is a little black cat. Max is very sleepy. He's got his eyes closed here. He's really tired. Glug, glug. Max has drunk his milk. Max has brushed his teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Max has cleaned behind his ears with his brush. Now Max is going to say good night. Good night, fish. Says Max, you see, say good night to the fish in the bowl. Good night, box, says Max. Good night, spider, says Max. Good night, moon, says Max. But the moon is nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Moon, moon, where are you, moon, says Max. Maybe the moon, I'll see the moon from outside. Max steps out into the starlit night. Good night, night, says Max. Have you seen the moon? But the night is dark and quiet. Maybe I'll see the moon if I get a little higher, thinks Max. Max tiptoes carefully up onto the sleeping dog. Good night, dog, whispers Max. Have you seen moon? But the sleeping dog is sleeping. Maybe I'll see the moon if I get a little higher, thinks Max. Max. 
Max climbs up a tall, tall tree and creeps along a branch. Good night, tree, says Max. Do you know where I can find moon? But the tall, tall tree only rustles in the breeze. Max climbs even higher up among the rooftops. Good night, rooftops, says Max. Have you seen moon? But the rooftops are silent. Hmm. Maybe if I get much higher, thinks Max. Maybe from the tallest building. Max climbs up and up and up. Good night, tallest building, says Max. Can you see the moon? But the tallest building says nothing. Oh, moon, where are you, moon? says Max. Max is very tired, but he climbs up even higher to the highest of the high hills where the wind blows cold and strong. Good night, hill, says Max. Please tell me, have you seen moon? But the highest of the high hills just whistles in the wind. Max has had enough. Moon! Where are you? He's looking a little frustrated. Up on the highest of the high hills, the wind hears Max and blows and blows and blows the clouds away. And there, full and brilliant in the night sky, Moon! Good night, Max, whispers Moon, and thank you very much for coming. Good night, Moon, yawns Max. Oh, it's been a long, long night. Now I can go to bed. Max calls Moon across the night sky. Did you know that I can hear you when you say good night at home? Oh, says Max. Now you tell me. Well, thank you. That's very good to know. Max is tired and happy. He walks back along the rooftops and climbs down the tall, tall tree. Max creeps carefully over the sleeping dog. And sleepy, very sleepy, he climbs the stairs to bed. Sleep tight, Max, says Moon. But Max doesn't hear. Max is snoring, snoring, snoring fast asleep. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed that book, friends. And I hope you have a really good day, okay? I will see you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye.